Welcome back to another video. I'm just getting right into it. Let's go. How to skin a kidney. Kidneys could be tricky, but your patient um, does not have to fast for this exam, but um, you don't want to scan where the ribs are. Same technique as my abdomen scan I showed you guys. You want to have that patient take a deep breath in and hold it so that kidney drops down underneath that rib cage and you're pointing up into his rib cage. Just like that. I don't know if you could tell the pressure I'm applying, but I'm pointing up and it's giving me a beautiful sagittal view of his kidney. When you're scanning, you want to look at the edges of the kidney. Make sure they're smooth. Make sure that there's nothing coming off the edge of the kidney. Breathe. One more time. And you do want an image just like how you take a sagittal view of the kidney, I mean of the liver, you do want to image like that with your kidney in range so that you could tell the radiologist could look at the echo texture of the kidney as well. And on the left side, you'll do that with the spleen. But you would measure it from here and then you'll go medial, lateral, sagittal. And you could tell that I'm not moving my probe all over, you guys. Make sure you're not moving your probe all over. You find that window, you stick there and you just tweak your probe just a little bit to move the image. The next thing is to transverse. Let me go into my liver so I can get my superior right kidney. Then just move down a little bit. You can see the hilum coming in. That's your transverse kidney. Move down just a little further and you want to make sure that your borders are nice and smooth. Perfect right there. You Nice and smooth. You want to make sure your borders are nice and smooth. When you do the inferior, you kind of want a, a nice circle. So that's how you scan kidneys. Make sure you put color on. You can breathe normal. Make sure you put color on long and on that transverse hilum area. And yeah, I really hope this helps out a lot. I will be doing some more of these as well. Um, leave down in the comments, what would you like to see scanned? All right, thank you baby for being my patient. And then you wipe the patient off all nice and slow. <laughs> but for real though, like not all nice and slow, but you do. Wipe the patient off. Don't leave the patient fending for themselves. That's just proper care. Help the patient up if they need it. And then um, that's it. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Before we leave though, I have two questions to answer from Nicole Beautiful. She asked the question, does your work consist of high risk patients? No. The answer is no, I don't do high risk. Um, they go to a neonatologist for high risk. So the neonatologist can actually scan the patient themselves. So no, I don't. But all OB scans should be considered. You're looking for those specific things that will alarm you to send that patient to a high risk. So if, if you're scanning OB, you should automatically be looking for something of that nature. The next question she asks is, and do you have to have an MFM, which is a maternal fetal medicine cer certificate or be certified to do that? No, you don't. Um, you could just have an ARDMS and abdomen. They prefer you to be registered in OBGYN if you're going to do just strictly OB. So I hope that answers your question, Nicole. Thank you so much for your wonderful questions. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you. Come